Now in this last part of the question then we've got to solve 2 log of x in base 3 minus the log of 7x in base 3 equals 1. So how do we do this? Well it's a log equation obviously because it's got some logs in it but whenever you get log equations make sure you reduce it down to two terms and in this particular equation you've got one term here take away another term equals another term so you've got three terms and so what you've got to do is bring this down to two terms one term on this side of the equals and one term on the other side so we can group the logs together by using some of the log rules now a rule that springs to mind immediately is the subtraction rule for logs just remind you just in case you've forgotten it the log of a in any base let's say base c minus the log of another number let's say b in the same base c is always identical to the log in the same base c of a over b and so that would group together two log terms okay creating one term but we've got a problem that problem is that you've got a number in the front of this log this rule only applies if you haven't got a number in front of the logs so what do we do with this two we've got to get rid of it somehow and we use another rule the power rule for logs and that is if you've got a number let's say n in front of the log of say a number a in base c then this is identical to the log in the same base c of a to the power n you can bring the power up to the top so if we use that rule first of all this becomes the log of x in base 3 to the power 2 the log of x squared in other words then we have this term minus the log of 7x in base 3 and that equals 1. Well, we've still got our three terms and we've got to reduce it down to two terms so we can use this rule now by grouping together these two logs. So we end up with the log in base 3 of x squared divided by 7x and that equals 1. Let's just clean this up first of all because x squared divided by 7x you can cancel top and bottom by x and that will reduce down to the log of x over 7 okay, in base 3 and that equals 1. Now that we've got our two terms we've got to remove the log and to do that we use another rule. Okay? Logs full of rules. And this rule is that if you've got the log of a number, let's say big N, in a particular base, let's say A, and it equals something else like B, then this means that that number N is equal to the base A to the power B. So using that here, N is the X over 7, the A is the 3, and the B is the 1. So therefore, if we remove the log, we've got x over 7 equals the base, which is 3, to the power 1. Well, 3 to the power 1 is simply 3. So we've got then just to multiply both sides by 7, and you get x equals 3 times 7, which is 21. And there you go. That's the solution to our equation.